driving to Michigan to pick up Michael. I just know that it's a couple um, hours left of a drive and a sleep before I get to, to be with my husband. This could be the last time I'm driving to Michigan to see Michael. I have about an hour and eight minutes left to go. When my husband first gets out of prison, he wants to see some of his friends and family before heading to New York. But we unfortunately can't stay in Michigan for that long because we have to get back home with our daughter. I also need to get alone time with him. We waited three years for this day. And it's a lot of pressure, a lot of emotions. So that's why, you know, I just worry about how he's gonna handle it all. Hello, this is a prepaid call from Hello? Hello. What's up? Just driving. Alright. What are we doing tomorrow? Because we gotta we gotta figure out what we're doing. Well, uh Ryan's supposed to be setting up these reservations at a restaurant. So like everybody can uh, meet up there. Okay, so. and if it's not for eight o'clock in the morning, I'm not going. We gotta be back early in the morning on Thursday, period. Uh, it ain't for 8 o'clock in the morning. What's it for? It's like for 11. Alright, well, I'm pissed. Alright, man. Nah, because you're clearly not thinking of, about me at all. I told you I wanted to leave Michigan by 11 or 12, period. Because we have to get our daughter a certain time the next day. I can only be in Michigan a certain amount of time, so it ain't Til like noon. I can go back for court. It ain't like I can go back and forth up and keep seeing family and shit. You promised me that we would have our time back in New York and nothing is going to stop that. But I, I don't I think you understand we, the concept of, understand. of how long it takes to drive there. Oh my God. Yo, I had so much other plan. I'm just, I just think that it's crazy that all this has happened and, and with everybody else and everybody else is the understanding that we're meeting somewhere at this time, but yet your wife is the last person to know about it. Fair. Well, I think it's not fair that you make me sound like I'm a selfish bitch. You have one minute remaining. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. You got a car. I'm not even mad, I'm just hurt. You know, I had this romantic evening planned. even time to make it happen. It's me or it hurts my feelings. I'm his wife and the first day the first day that I get to actually have my husband and all these plans are getting changed and all the times are getting changed and it's just not I, I'm the last to know about it. It's just not fair. You weren't the only one that went through things these last three years. He doesn't know how much I love him.